Okay, now we look at uh, plunge milling. I'm going to plunge uh, by using this plunge mill to plunge this part, to rub this uh, part. And of course, plunge mill uh, come with two kinds. One is sander cut, one is non sander cut. So let's apply a template. This template you can get from the zip file. Um, okay, let's look at the parameters. Volume milling and the plunge mill is located under the legacy procedure, the plunge mill. And let's look at the machine parameters, uh, motion parameters. First, the uh, retract. Okay, after plunge to the end, the retract, we can specify an angle and with a distance, it will retract to the side before uh, go up. And clearance, okay, it's good. Uh, entry, okay, entry, we have three types of entry. We have uh, Z entry and we have entry length and uh, we have end length. And this three entry, we can actually go, go to the machine parameter to set different uh, period for these three um, uh, sections. Okay, so I'm going to use the default and boundary uh, use automatic is okay. Surface tolerance and offset it is okay. Uh, two trajectory size step, the size step, okay, 60% is okay. Uh, cutting style, you can uh, choose bi direction or unidirection, new angle. In this case, uh, I'm going to mute at um, zero degree. Look at the arrow. If I change it to maybe 90, you can see the arrow is changing, right? So, no, I'm going to mute at 0 degree from the bottom to the up. And here is an option for you. So, you might choose. If you have a, a center cutting, cutting tool, you can choose center cutting. If you don't have, if your tool is side cutting, you must choose side cutting. Okay, exact bottom, put just a uh, select a minimum uh, bottom that you depth, the minimum that you want to go. So I, I, I want to change this. For the first step, yeah, I put 10 and I cannot put in 20. Maybe 20, you cannot put 20. Why? Because my cut length is 10. Okay. The maximum value of forward step is equal to the cut length. So if you want to increase uh, more than 10, then you need to change the cutter cut length. So in this case, I have put 10. A minimum depth, uh, for example, here I have 10. Uh, it means that uh, if Simaton check if the material, the depth to be plunged is less than 10 mm, it will not plunge. It will skip this. Uh, 10 mm material. Okay, so your plunge, uh, you'll cut those areas more than 10 mm. Uh, incremental step, uh, 50 micron is okay. This is to prevent the uh, plunge mill to touch at the back, touch the material at the back. Okay, uh, if the plunge mill uh, touch the material at the back, the punch you might uh, vibrate. And slot angle, you can specify what is the maximum touching angle okay, between your cutter and the material. So if you put uh, 130, uh, Sigma Tone will not generate a pass that is more than 130 contact. And down pass you can specify a single down pass or a multi layer. Multi layer can key the down step of each layer. So in this case, I will use a multi layer and calculate. Okay, this is the two part. Let's simulate this result. As you can see, the cutter plunge into the material and it only moves upwards. 
and this is a side plunging. Okay, side plunging. There's no center cut. It's 7 o'clock p.m. 